So you've probably heard that you can uh, figure out how old trees are, like Pac-Man tree face here, by counting its rings. So let's talk a little bit about tree growth, and really just plant growth in general. Now there's two main things you need to understand about plants and how they grow. And the first thing is that I have to shut the door before my colleagues are on YouTube when they don't want to be. All right, so tr plants, when they grow, a lot of people think that they grow sort of like your hair. But your hair, like on the top of your head, grows like out of the roots. So, you know, the tips are the dead part, and then this part keeps growing longer. But plants uh, are very different. Plants grow from the very top and bottom edge. So this plant, if it's growing taller, it's actually generating new cells right in that area right here. And you guys saw that when we uh, did the onion root tip lab. It was the same thing for down here. And the dirt, if we have our roots going down, this area down here at the bottom is a part that's doing mitosis, that's making new cells. So plants always grow their region of new growth from an area called a meristem. Plants have two general types of growth, and it depends on which meristem they're growing from. They can grow out of the apical meristem, that's vertical growth, apical like the apex, that's the top, right? Oh, there. But they also have this region called the lateral meristem, lateral, like on the sides. So lateral meristem would be, you know, the secondary growth, the, the outward, the fattening growth. And based on the way these two growths work, there's two things you need to understand about our good friend, the tree here. First things first, if you have a beautiful tree and you were to carve your name, you know, Joni loves Chachi, uh, right here, that will always be at that height for the remainder of the tree's life. The tree will continue growing from its apical meristems up here, keep getting taller this way, taller this way. However, it also grow wider. So this heart that got carved in the tree will eventually get wider and wider as the tree grows from its lateral meristem, getting fatter and fatter. But it doesn't just get fatter. Remember, trees are round, so we're growing in, in three directions, in all three dimensions, which will lead to things like, you know, trees swallowing up parts of your house or park benches or even like this tree part right here you can see it has a horseshoe uh, just embedded in it the horseshoe was probably laying on the ground for lost and forgotten and the tree over time through its lateral growth just enveloped it and it's a really cool process because the thing of trees is like you know pretty hard and they don't really grow from their lateral marrow stems in a way that you can always see directly but we can measure it with those rings in the trees and we can measure it by the evidence that it completely swallowed this thing whole this is a piece that one of our former science teachers found when he was splitting some wood so you're looking at a tree and you've got a nice big specimen like this you can count its rings you want to start from the middle because that was year one everybody makes a mistake of starting out here remember you have some regions out here with your you know with your phloem and your outer bark and your cork cambrium where you're not really going to be able to see things very well so you want to start in the middle and just count all the rings you can the best technique is if you and your partner start here one of you does this side one of you does that side it should be symmetrical even though well the ring wise the shape may not be symmetrical but it will have the same number of rings on either side and just to make life a little easier on you the trees we have are not quite that old and we polished them so that the rings are really really easy to see see the rings in there so again you want to start in the middle part and you see that this tree was growing more on this side than this side and there's even uh, something right there so you not only can you tell the age of the tree but you can also tell how well it was growing you can see that some rings are thicker than others this ring right here for example is very very thick meaning the tree grew a lot that year there's always light rings and dark rings and those indicate which time the growth was happening trees grow both in the spring but also in the fall so there's two main like growth periods based on the color of the ring you can tell which is happening so it's not just about counting the rings it's about counting the seasons so that's for lateral growth sometimes also called secondary growth and especially with trees that's really fleshing out that secondary xylem however you can also measure growth from their main form of growth, apically. So if you look at the plants here, they always grow out of their apical meristem, that'd be the top of the twig. Here's the bottom of the twig that broken off. And when you're growing, when they grow, when they're alive still, right at the very top, they always put a bud, that's their new growth, they usually put a flower out of that. So you can look really closely, and you can actually see the scars that go all the way around. 
each scar there represents the previous location of where that bud was. So again, up real close if the camera focuses. You can see the terminal growth scar from the old apical meristem right here. So this area from scar to scar represents one year of growth. That's how far the tree grew apically, vertically, in one year. You can also see lateral scars representing where the side leaves were put on the side. So you can have a, an, a vertical scar that will go all the way around, and then you also have scars on the side where the leaves stuck out on the twigs and make that nice brushy foliage. Again, to count vertical growth, you count apical meristem scars. To count lateral growth, you're going to count lateral meristem scars. That's it. Get crazy.